well. Hi, all of my Leo friends. Thank you and welcome back to Silky Intuitive. I'm Nancy. Well, what, what I'm doing for you today is a past, present, and future outlook for the time period of September 24th through October 1st. General life, if you're watching it YouTube, and if you want the expanded reading for love, you can find that at my Vimeo link down below if you want a reading meant just for you. Reach out to me through my website, uh, through the contact form. Tell me what kind of a reading you want. I will get back to you uh, personally. I handle all invoices personally. I have many reasons why I do it that way. You won't find an auto pay button at my website for many reasons also. My work is done in video. I don't do Skype. I don't do live readings. Only because I have difficulties with my signal. Both uh, in the physical world where I live. It's a terrible place for a Skype signal. I don't have a landline. I got a lot of technical reasons why I don't do live. More than that, I also have a signal issue with my spirit guide. And so we do video, it's comfortable, he's secure. I think Michael, my guide, he likes to feel as if he's in control of the situation. And, and well, he was a Marine when he died. He loves control. And so he needs to be in control of uh, the conversation. And when he feels he's being interrupted, he kind of just shuts off and sits in a corner. So... <laughs> Since I have to deal with this uh, this uh, temperamental brat of a guy, sorry, Michael, uh, you guys are going to have to accept that video is actually the best way to do it. Once it's on video, you can watch it over and over and over again. You get to see the cards as they're being laid out. Really important. You get a good visual, not just a conversation. So... Here we go. Now that I've got all of that ranting out of the way. Oh, and thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. All of that wonderful stuff you do keeps me with a growing audience. I want to thank you recently. If you've been a recent subscriber, it's meant an awful lot. Even my old timers. I know you guys have been around for a while and you keep coming back and I love you all for that. I try to keep my messages general, although on occasion, like this month, the readings, although intended to be general, can become often um, incredibly uh, specific and very one-person minded. Michael is like that. He likes to pick out a person and say, hey, you, I want to talk about your life. And sometimes that's the way the messages go. Of course, uh, again, you guys like to have it that way. You like your specifics. All right, here we go. Leo, my friends, now we're ready to go. I need, uh, we're going to take it from here. We're going to start with the past, the sun. Ah, the service man's card, the returning service man, the sun, and the six of wands, and the moon. Now, we've got the sun and the moon. Totally opposite energies. Happiness, regret, sadness. So on this return, or on this victorious kind of status that you've had in the past, that you've held, there have been moments of glory, moments of happiness, but moments of regret and sadness as well. I think for whatever Leo I'm talking about, you've had a very interesting life. A lot of highs, but just as many lows. Your past is showing that. Um, beautiful days, uh, hopeful outlook uh, with... Uh, a great deal of pride in accomplishment. And then there's this kind of lingering black 
cloud. I'm going to say the moon feels to me more like it's the darkness, the sad part of life. The part of life where things don't always look so promising. Things don't always look so good if you're looking at it from the perspective of the moon. Some things feel far away and foreign, unusual, um, and strange. But I almost feel that there's this desire. Now we can talk about with the moon. We can also talk about maternal energy. And so for some of you, there may have been a separation from your maternal figure. Um, maybe during a time of uh, great victory and glory, there feels like a separation from a maternal type of figure for some of you. Uh, it can also just talk about uh, a need for protection and nurturing. Now, here we are. Here's the returning soldier. You see this joker here? He's got uh, he's got quite a, a variety of um, accomplishments. The Nine of Wands. He's seen a lot of a lot of things that you could consider battle worthy. He's put up a lot of fight in his life for one thing or another. <clears throat> and the Two of Cups. And for some of you, this is a very emotionally, it's tied to a very emotional relationship. Again, it could be a nurturing spouse or the need to receive nursing, nurturing from a maternal energy, but it feels like there's been a struggle around that. And maybe you've been the one controlling that struggle, that battle. It feels very much like Leo, if you've had a struggle with a mother, a sister, a spouse where it feels like it's an everyday battle. It feels like the up and down. That's what this is. It feels like a cycle that's had great ups and tremendous lows <clears throat> during its lifetime. This is the past. Let's see what the present looks like. Or, you know what, first let me do this. Let me do this. A feeling of loss. There's been some loss and regret here. There's also a sense that life goes on. Uh, you can still have joy in your life, even though there's been an ending here. And then we have this ego. Now, for some of you, this separation was due to someone's overwhelming ego. Somebody's words. Somebody's extreme view of the situation stepped in and uh, what was created from this I don't know it, it could have been uh, some miscommunication whatever it is someone's ego stepped in and got the most of them um, this is the past so we're dealing some with, with some resistance because of ego. Maybe narcissism was at play here. Someone maybe only concerned about themselves. Now, let's move into the present. Page of Pentacles. A lot of it was because of money in the situation. And money right now seems to be at play again. And then we have the Hermit. Someone who's been on a soul journey possibly it's you it's at the middle it's at the heart of this situation this light and dark this relationship I think this is about a relationship even a career path definitely with this guy here saying I've had successes and I've had losses okay and I've also had regrets 
because of the things that have passed before me with the situation. Maybe you let your ego get out of hand because I know you Leos, you've got that kind of big, bold view of yourself and that's okay. But when it gets out of control, it can step. you can step in it. You can get yourselves into a great big heap of um, darkness. Darkness. It can plunge you into a place of darkness. So, <clears throat> you know, maybe will someone let go of you because of an overwhelming ego. And maybe it was their ego. Could very well be. It can go either way. Now, the hermit is the guy who searches the truth, but he lives under a bridge and he spends a hell of a lot of time alone, too. And maybe it's been a long time passing since there's been contact with this person. You may have kept isolated from them, or maybe they kept themselves isolated from you. A mothering energy that may have kept herself isolated and I almost feel, I almost feel that there is a sense of being okay with it. Being okay with it. Someone has a feeling of loss here, but somebody here is really kind of okay with it. The Seven of Swords. Interesting. So the Seven of Swords, in some ways it can talk about profit, it can talk about game, it can talk about getting away with murder, it can talk about a lot of things. The Seven of Swords is the guy who gathers up what he has left of a situation and gets out. Gets out of it before he gets hurt, before he gets trampled by competition, whatever his reasons are. For packing it in and moving moving along here, it feels like someone left because of an unknown situation. Maybe it was hidden anger that was revealed. The moon for me is carrying a little bit of ugliness with it. Because we have this person here who kind of regrets their overwhelming sense of narcissism, narcissism, or maybe someone just pure and simple left a narcissist behind, packed up whatever they had left of the situation, and moved along. Maybe it was a situation that just was not going to work out. I think there are, in some ways, a uh, feeling that of mistreatment in the situation, um, of even being misguided in one way or another, maybe being promised one thing and then receiving in another way when they actually reach their destination in whatever the journey is, whether it's the ups and downs with your career or it's ups and downs with a family member, a motherly energy look, there's this feeling that there was uh, some break in the situation, mostly because of money and the maybe the immature status of the money, maybe that's the low period you're receiving now or it could have been the situation from the past one that was promised to be uh, happy and even eventful and enjoyable. And it turned into a very dark, awkward um, situation with a lot of regret for someone. I don't think everyone here has regret. I think someone has moved along just fine. The Three of Swords, but somebody hasn't. And the Three of Pentacles, trying to associate with maybe this energy again. Maybe it is a work situation uh, where uh, there was the disappointment, 
where maybe someone took a promotion from you, took a job from underneath you. And maybe you have just been disciplined and steady and thoughtful on this career and someone has been undermining you on the job. The King of Swords. He's the boss man, he's the authority figure usually. Maybe you feel you were betrayed by an authority figure at work. And maybe you're deciding at this time that it's maybe about that time to move on, to move away from a situation where I think you've probably devoted a lot of yourself to. Maybe you kept to your own, just stayed focused on your work, and it feels like in that situation somebody has been trying to either undermine your authority, undermine your progress, your projects. Um, but it feels like, even on a personal level, it almost feels like the same kind of energy if you were dealing with a member of your family could be an aging member of the family. All right, let me see what I've got here. The child. The reunion. Good Lord. And the despair. Someone is in a bad way. They may be looking to you for help. Or is it possible that that is what broke the situation up to begin with? I almost feel like a, since the child, this, and it can represent an actual child figure, whether you're 60 or six months, we are, we're all somebody's child. You may be looking uh, to reunite with a mother figure, a father figure, someone who was nurturing to you in the past, or maybe they turn to you at one time for help, for nurturing, in a time of despair. And maybe that's where all of this went wrong. That situation might be coming up again for someone. Where this childhood connection, or a, even an actual child, maybe having financial issues. And that situation may be coming back around again. Maybe that situation is coming back but reversed. The first situation broke up the mother-child or the nurturing energy and this childlike energy. It was the wedge that came, look at this, it was the wedge that came between you before. The situation may be arising again for some of you shortly. Whether or not you let this energy back in is purely up to you. But now that you're aware that someone who maybe you've had a wedged relationship with in the past, um, maybe looking for a brand new uh, start, a brand new beginning, after a, a kind of a, an upsetting ending. But like I said, one of these pers people is damaged and one of them is really all right. The action here is what do we do about it if we want to reunite the situation. I'm taking them from the top. This is the future. The Five of Cups. Someone remains in their silence, in their hurt, in their place of being okay with this. I really feel like maybe this is not the right time to be reaching out for someone, especially if you're reaching out for money. I don't think that's going to work out well for whoever this is. If someone's reaching out to you for money, I think I see an, a very easy no coming along. If you're reaching out to someone, I can also see that I see the same reply. If you're reaching out to a... a, a, a a family member who has departed your life for a period of time, I think the answer is still going to be no. 
and I think you're going to remain in a struggle. I think you'll handle that fiery energy that you possess. It, you feel like you, you're getting along. You're going to handle things all right, even though the rejection and the disappointment might be there. And the Eight of Cups. This is the card that says keep working. If you're un unemployed, I think there's a job for you with your name all over it. But I don't think reaching out to a, a departed family member, especially if they're aging, I don't think this is probably a good time to reach out to them for money. My, I, I'm almost getting a message that this aging parent might be in a worse situation financially than you are. So if all you're going to that person for is money, you better keep walking. Because I don't think they have it. That's the message that's coming through for me. And if they do have it, I don't think they're going to give it to you. The Jack of Spades. This is sort of that urgent energy that says, well, I have to do it now. I have to do it now. I need an answer now. And the an needing an answer now is really going to lead to a disappointing conclusion. The Ten of Cups. The Family Connection. And the Eight of Cups. You know, what I want to say here, Leo. The family connection, I kind of want to lay this out this last throw with the tarot because I um, I really want a visual on this right now. Okay, so here's our Knight of Swords. And oh, 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 okay, come on. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find this as quickly as I can. That's the visual I wanted. The walking away, the turning away. Even though somebody makes an offer look really appealing here, they're still a turning away only because they know. They know of the disappointment or the hurt that will come. Because I think there is also a knowing that there's someone here who's very much only interested in acquiring the financial perspective that they're looking for. And I think they paint a very pretty picture of a reunion. But my guess is, if I'm reading this correctly, you've already had their kind of reunion before. And I might be talking about somebody's child here, but I'm also talking about somebody who is very much only focused on their own narcissism, somebody who is only focused on their own well-being, someone who speaks a lot about regret and oh so happy to be together with you when I honestly get that this person is in no way interested in the well-being of the relationship, but more interested in what they can acquire at this time from you. The gift. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. Cheerfulness. Like I said, someone comes maybe bearing a gift. The gift may be an apology. This is the old woman, the aging parent. You know what? I'm going to really kind of focus very quickly on her because I'm here to say that this old woman is being targeted, maybe gifted with something precious from someone who comes along with a smile. But again, I'm going to say the intention here is really focused on someone's driven ego 
and their need to acquire. They don't have regrets here like the widower does. His regrets have been long gone. Now he focuses on what he can take, what he can benefit from, because the seven of swords, more than anything, he is the thief. He's the scoundrel who takes what he wants from you. Are you confused? I'm sorry, but somebody's going to know what I'm talking about. Like the family money, the Ten of Pentacles, somebody who is seeking to acquire something from the family that doesn't really exist, which tells me that they don't know anything about their own family. Again, tells me this is someone who has been separated for a long time from the family situation that is frankly struggling on its own. And now we have this interloper, this person who may have been gone for 10, 20, 30 years, suddenly with a smile, suddenly with a cheerful explanation for everything that they did wrong. The five of pentacles, <laughs> the abandonment card. The card that says uh, that maybe somebody wants to take what you have and abandon you with nothing. This is not someone who wishes you ill will. This is someone who is frankly there to help themselves. The two of swords. So I get it. I get it. This is maybe a close friend, a close family connection, a business connection that you put a lot of yourself into. Whatever this back and financially focused kind of energy is. Whatever this new baby was for you, whether it was your own child that you're, that is trying to reconnect with you, or a business gone bad, that may be calling you back and saying, hey dude, you know, we loved your work. How would you like to come and work for us for nothing again? Um, this is the message that says you may need to turn a blind eye, yes, even to a family member who is possibly coming in and seeking what it is that you have to offer. You may be at a stalemate with that decision, whether or not to let that person in again. But I almost feel like it's time, step back a cycle. Step back a cycle, whether it's a day or two or a month. Step back. Examine the situation of this person from the past who is trying to march back into your life or maybe you, them. Take a month. Step back and really examine the situation. Let's see if it's necessary because I don't really see this reunion going terribly well. Uh, and unfortunately, I have to bring you that message, Leo. And now that we've gone long, if you want to continue this reading, reach out to me through my website, all, any of my contact information, and we'll get a reading going just for you. I will handle the invoicing. Next, um, if you want your love reading, maybe we can get a different perspective on love for you. Maybe a totally different group of you will get a love reading. This time... This reading, whether it was love or business, incredibly harsh. But I think this is not the right time to approach someone. Especially if what you're after is money. That is not going to go well. Or them, you. So, uh, Leo, until next week, uh, take care, be well, and peace.